Tonight's headlines are brought to you in part by Coldwell Energy and McDonald's. Good evening, Pacific. The 2022 mini games wraps up tonight at the Olei Sports Complex. And before we part ways, we bring you some of the final moments shared in this historic event. The three major baseball nations in the Pacific hits the Tanco Field for the gold medal. Also tonight, lots of emotions at last night's beach volleyball. And French Polynesia dominates the badminton court. Stay with us as we bring you the last special edition of the Pacific Minigames. Rise up to the challenge! June 17th through June 25th, the Northern Marianas will be hosting the NM Pacific Mini Games 2022. Athletics, badminton, baseball, beach volleyball, golf, tennis, triathlon, ba, and weightlifting. Visit northernmarianas2022.com and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Thanks to the Tensu Lin Foundation, Joe Tendada Foundation, T Galleria, Docomo Pacific, ITNE, NMC, Elan Group, Marpack, Fish Guy Scuba Charter, Atkins Kroll, Glorified City Limit, McDonald's, Mobile, Triple J, NM Tech, and Bank of Guam. Sipping on a delicious drink from McDonald's may have you thinking, what makes these drinks just hit different? <laughs> Don't overthink it. Just enjoy it. It's more than a drink. It's a McDonald's drink. Cool off this summer with McDonald's Minute Maid slushies. Try the new Tropical Mango or returning favorite, Strawberry Watermelon, for a limited time. ba da ba ba, -ba. Off a day to the Wami and good evening, Commonwealth. Welcome to the last edition of our special segment of these Pacific Mini Games 2022. Now, before we take a look at the closing ceremony that will officially end this wonderful event here in the Commonwealth, we want to show you some highlights of the games. And my baseball takes gold in a thrilling doubleheader win. Probably one of the best games played in Mariana's history and definitely one that won't be forgotten. Batting third, the shortstop number 23, AJ Lazama. Lazama, shortstop. Batting cleanup, the third baseman number four, Noki Saralu. Saralu, third base. Batting fifth and playing first base number 44, Darian Jones. Jones, first base. Batting sixth. Playing center field, Ben Jones Jr., number 25, Ben Jones Jr., center field. Batting seventh, behind the plate, number 26, Gerald Cabrera, Cabrera catcher. 
Batting eight, the DH, number 10, Jake B. Sablon. Sablon, DH. Batting ninth, the left fielder, number 22, Juan Iguel. Iguel, left field. And on the hill, number 20, Franco Nakamura. Nakamura, pitcher. Team NOI managed by Manny Sablon. Coached by Gary Cruz, Darren Flores, and Chris Nelson. There they are, Team NMI. Batting second, playing left field, Xavier Conception, number 10. Conception, left field. Batting third, the shortstopper, number one, Sean Munya Jr. Munya Jr. Number 25, the catcher, Javen Pangalinen. Pangalinen, catcher. Batting fifth, number 14, playing third base, Guy Fon Terlahi, Terlahi, third base. Batting sixth, the first baseman, number 31, Nolan Cruz. Cruz, first base. Batting seventh, the DH, John Salas Jr. Salas Jr., DH. And batting eighth, playing second base, Shane Munya. Number seven, Munya, second base. And batting ninth, Number 58, the right fielder, Brian Balaja. Balaja, right field. And on the hill, the veteran lefty, number 72, Paul Pangalinen. Pangalinen, pitcher. And they are managed by Joe Tucaro. Coached by John Salas, Franklin Lente, and Xavier Payne. There they are, big hand, Team Guam. Misses it. Gives him a ticket to first. Runner's going. Strike him out, throw him out. Twin killing. Two outs for the price of one. Easy fly ball to the center fielder, Ben Joni Jr. And that retires the side. One, two, three. We played one complete inning. Just misses. Oh, it did. Hit him. Clipped him on the uh, shoelace. And he is picked off first base. Chopper to first. Second out. Oh, he socks a single to center. Big turn at first. And that'll do it. NMI threatens, but comes up empty after that strikeout. Juan Iguel there to put it away. As a ground ball single to left. Guam rallying here, threatening. Slicing. Fair ball. One run will score. Here comes another run, and it's two to nothing, Guam. A triple. For Jathan and Guam takes a two to nothing lead. Right between the wickets, there's another run. That's an unearned run. Well, oh, we've got a uh, break in the action. You know, we got that torch over the uh, track and field that was lit during the opening ceremony. And that's the first time in 53 years that we've had that torch lit. Flip over to second, the force out to end the inning. But a huge inning for Guam as they come up with four runs and they take the lead. He takes it to the opposite field. A leadoff single for the shortstop. Base hit, left field. Back to back singles. See to my threatening here after watching Guam score for it. Hard hit, center field that's gonna fall in. It's gonna be picked up. No, it's not, it's dropped. And run comes in. Runners on the corners and the uh, RBI and a hit. 
and a run. And that goose egg is crap. Three consecutive hits. And there's a punt. And it is safe. Safe at first. The throw pulled him off. Dies one to shallow center field. Second base, we go back. Center fielder coming in. He's going to make it. And here comes the throw. And it is going to be not in time. Noki Saru turns on the Jets. Scoots home for the second run for Team NMI. We got a 4 2 game. Hard hit, left field. Left fielder going back, 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 back. And reaches up. Cannot make the catch. One run comes in. Two runs in. Here comes the throw. Not even close. A two RBI double for Juan Iguel. One hopper. 4-3 put out. That'll retire the side. Nenente Jr. comes in and does his job. Stops the bleeding. Fair ball. Pass the outstretched glove of Asalu. And that'll drive in. The go-ahead run for Team Guam. Another run scoring hit. There's a pop-up. And Noki puts it away for the third out, but not before Guam comes up with one big run on a couple of hits. Hard hit. That's a base hit. Base hit to center. Here comes a runner coming around. He will score standing up. A.J. Lazama, the king of Kalakanoa, delivers. Out of second, safe at first, two down. And a fly to center. Does it drop in? Oh, the ball bounced away from the center field, goes all the way to the right, one runs in. Here comes another run, here comes a throw, save! Seven to five, NMI takes the lead. A great diving attempt, comes up empty. Hard hit, that ball is deep. Left field going back, 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 back! Up against the fence, another run comes in. An RBI double. J.P. Sablon. Hard hit, right field. It's a gapper. Here comes another run. Here comes the throw. It's off the line. And he's saved. What a slide. Where'd you learn that? RBI single. Another run, another hit. Four six, that'll end it. And a pass ball, passing the runner over the second. One ball, two strikes. And it was in, base on ball. A chopper up the middle, safe at second, safe at first. Oh, he's out at first. Call him out. Hard hit, right field. Back, 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 back. Over his head, all the way to the fence. Here comes a run around th third. The throw dropped. Run scores. RBI, triple, no key, Saralu. You. And a bouncer back to the shortstop. Runner holds it third. There's a throw to first. Here's a play at the plate. Not in time. And the throw is off anyway. Didn't matter. Another run for Team NMI. There's another line drive. Safe. A one hopper. Snagged by the left fielder, but not after it. Not until after it dropped in the hit. Jones throws a pitch that just misses. And a leadoff walk. Well, there's a nice throw to center field. Yeah. 
Kalahi with a bit, another base hit. Guam is coming through. Here comes the the runner. Here comes the throw. It's not in time. A throw over to first. We had multiple rundowns. He's out. Smart play by Darian Jones. He could have got the runner between first and second. He went for the more high value target. The one between second and third. A big play, Darian Jones. Hard hit up the middle. Pass the shortstop into center field. The leadoff batter on base again for Team Animon. They've been doing it all day. And a bunt. And error and another error. Going error. The double error by the pitcher. And another error. One run will score. And a comebacker. Pitcher over the first for out number three. But not after Dick Sinemai came up with one run. A blooper. Drops in in front of Sabaklam and it's an RBI. And just like that, it's 12 to 9. Jones takes it himself, steps on the bag, and that'll do it. There's a line drive up the middle and through. Shane will take that. There's a pop up. Who wants it? He's got it. And that'll do it. Club. Wow. Oh. And there's a strikeout, number 39. Outside, that's four straight balls. A free pass to first. That means the tying run to the circle. Noki, Darren, that's it, ball game, full middle, Anaheim, 12 to 9. History in the making, four years, no baseball, we come back, we win on our home field. Congratulations to Team Anaheim, and congratulations to Team Guam, you take it off the silver. so happy. This team gave it their all. The sacrifice, the dedication, the love of the sport. Can't play baseball on a softball field, but these guys did. And they came out of it. On top. Thank you, Team Guam. We'd also like to thank Brown, PG, and the fans for making this tournament possible. We had to have four teams to have a tournament with five. What a way to end the Pacific Blue Games 2022. Thank you all, the volunteers. You guys are the greatest. What a game, 12 to 9. Um, I was a little nervous at the beginning. Yeah, I was nervous. But I know these guys. I, I've, I've managed them. I've coached them. I've gone off. I, I see them. I see them in tournaments. They always play over their heads. They always do better than they're supposed to. And that's why I love Team Anima. This, this, this management staff with Manny, the manager, myself, the head coach, Gary, the, the assistant, and Chris, the man, it's just... A, Awesome combination. 
you know, our boys never let up, even being the third seed. You know, we uh, the game versus Palau again put us in the third seed, but we played an awesome game today. Josh pitched the gym. Do you want tonight's game? We had a lot of hits. What can you say? Man, honestly, I'm still in shock, but you know, we, we've we been practicing for eight months. Unfortunately, we never had a lead, but the boys pulled through, man. We came every day, we grinded out, and here we are, gold medalists. It feels good, man. We haven't played baseball in four years. So being back on this field, we haven't got practice too on this field. We were practicing in the softball field. So it felt good to be back on the main baseball field. Just tell me, um, how does, what does this win mean to you? Oh, it means a lot, you know. We did it for everybody. I did it for my family. You know, I've been practicing so hard. I missed a lot of birthdays. I mean, you know, it's all that matters though. Gold is all we wanted, and we did it. A long time coming, four years, no baseball. We needed this. We want to relieve baseball again right here in the city, So hopefully this win will bring back everybody. have the right to a safe workplace. Employers must provide a workplace that is free from recognized hazards and comply with applicable OSHA standards, including proper reporting of injuries. Training needs to be done in a language and vocabulary employees can understand. And an OSHA information poster must be displayed prominently in the workplace. Workers, you have the right to raise a safety or health concern with your employer or OSHA without being retaliated against. And request an OSHA consultation of your workplace if you believe there are unsafe or unhealthy conditions. OSHA can help. Free assistance to identify and correct hazards is available to small and medium-sized employers without citation or penalty. So look out, speak up, and stay safe. Job safety and health, it's not only good practice, it's the law. Check out OSHA.gov or call 664-3154 or 3155. The 2022 Pacific Mini Game Beach Volleyball Finals are on fire Friday night in front of the Crown Plaza Resort. The women's Tahiti team takes the gold medal, beating out Vanuatu. The team has a special bond. We have too much emotion and we don't have where to stay because we have like a lot of like emotion inside because we are sisters and it's our dream to play together. So I can say it's just like we're so happy. Just tell us how you're feeling with such a big win at the mini games. How do you feel after this victory at the end of the game? Euh, en fait, euh, très, très joyeux, hein? content en même temps, euh, j'ai les larmes aux yeux, euh, en fait, on a accompli notre mission hein? pour avoir cette médaille d'or là. Very happy because he accomplished the mission and uh, for, for this gold medal. Thank you, thank you very much. The NMI men's beach volleyball team takes the court against the Wanawatu men's team. NMI takes the first set 20 to 19 and the Wanawatu team took the second set with a larger lead 21 to 10. Fans on both sides cheer their hearts out. Yeah. 
the third set is full of all-out rallies. Vanuatu cinches the win. Luck, luck. In the women's division, Vanuatu takes the silver and Wallace and Futuna take the bronze. Mr. Andrew Johnson! <laughs> NMI takes the silver in the men's division and Tuvalu takes home the bronze. Logan Mister's parents, Angie and Coach Tice, are full of pride. Oh, I'm so proud. This is wonderful. It's just been a joy to watch them play. A little stressful to be quite honest, but absolutely so proud of them. All right, Tice, we got to give you the last word. How are you doing? Well, it's been a, it's been a long week. It's been uh, super exciting the whole week. Um, yeah, I'm really proud of these guys. They've been working hard. And uh, yeah, fantastic. Our ladies too, they, they gave it their best and uh, they did an uh, outstanding job, so. Hey, feeling very proud tonight? Very, yes. <laughs> okay, first of all, you guys played amazingly out there. Didn't quite get the gold, but you've gotta be feeling good about how you played, is that right? Yeah, overall we feel great. You know, we went up against some really, really good teams. Uh, battled as best as we could. And yeah, we're feeling good. What about you, Logan? Give him all. Really tired. I'm just happy to get here. Yeah. Played as hard as I could. Is there anything you guys would have done different looking back? Or? Uh, looking back, it was tough. I mean, they just played a really good game. They were getting a lot of really good ups, returning a lot of stuff that we had. Um, we scouted their, their last matches before this game. Um, and we kind of had a game plan and, you know, we did our best, but I think overall we wouldn't have done anything differently. Yeah, yeah. And you guys know your fans here are so loyal that they love you guys no matter what, right? Yeah, they're amazing. All right, <laughs> oh, yeah. good game. Thank you so much. Uh, well, as a coach, uh, I'm very proud of my boys. Don't know what to say. It's our first game, uh, participating in the mini games. And yeah, we get the goal for Vanuatu. Yeah, I went too exciting. <laughs> Yeah. How did that game go for you? I mean, it was just a roller coaster there. <laughs> um, 
Ja, du fisst etwas am so nervös. Panik und war in Fakt. Ich habe viel Konfident in mich selbst. Und das war ja. Ich habe die Medaille gewonnen. Ich meine, Nicole. Ja, ich denke, es kam zurück. Es kam zurück sehr hart auf dem zweiten Set. Ja, und die Boys haben es geschafft. So, you know, the first game you had to, or the first set, you had to, um, you know, adjust the game, and then they came in second set, they take it out, and then they go for the final set, they go more harder, extra harder, yeah. and then yeah, that's the main push. Yeah. Well, um, at the end of the game, one team win, one team lose. So, right. yeah, we're very happy that we win, and like I said, it's the first mini games. The boys got the gold medal for Vanuatu, and I'm very proud of this man. Yeah, that's my man. Congratulations. How does it feel to have all of your teammates, not just your volleyball Ooh. team, but everybody's out here? Um, yeah. Uh, firstly, I want to thank my mate uh, for the support, especially. And uh, yeah, they gave me positive uh, thought to play fair games. And you know, yes, I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy, yeah. Thank you. Yes, absolutely. Okay, uh, this is to all the families back home. Steve Honor's family, James' family, Chef the Mission, all the athletes here. This is for you all. We love you all. God bless. Stay safe. Thank you. The Pacific Mini Games Badminton Tournament concluded this afternoon with Team Tahiti scooping the gold medals for all five disciplines. The women's doubles gold medal went to the two youngest players on the court. I'm very happy to win this gold medal and uh, it's fabulous. I have uh, three gold medals and one bronze medal. I'm very, very happy. What do you feel? Right now, qu'est-ce que tu ressens à l'heure actuelle? Comment dire? Proud of me. All right, awesome. Congratulations. Thank you. Team NMI was able to record a bronze medal in this overall tournament. Janelle Pangalinen and Janine Savillano beat another Tahiti team with eight points in their first set and eleven points in the second. We're very happy and we're very grateful to play against Tahiti. Um, Hortensia and Wayana Hea played great and we look forward to playing against them in the future again. All right, tell us what does this win mean to you? It means a lot, especially to badminton, you know. I hope that it goes to us uh, not only challenging Guam, but also going out to the other Pacific Islands and challenging them as well in the tournament. Cheers echoed throughout the gym as Team NMI smashed that last winning point. It's a special moment for the NMI's Badminton Association as this is the first international win for the Commonwealth. And what can you say about the NMI's win today? Oh, it was awesome. Uh, first, um, uh, we are really not expecting this and it's really a great experience for our players to be playing against the top uh, teams in the Pacific so uh, it was fun it was nice and uh, we're happy that we won bronze. A huge congratulations to all the badminton athletes from Tahiti, New Caledonia, Wallace and Fortuna, Guam, Solomon Islands and of course the Northern Mariana Islands. <laughs> Opioids are commonly prescribed drugs. They can help ease short-term pain after surgery, an accident, or illness. Common brand names include Vicodin, Demerol, Oxycontin, and Percocet. Opioids can be very addictive. 
and they can actually change how your brain works. Opioid misuse can lead to death. If you are prescribed an opioid medication, talk to your doctor. Always take exactly as directed, never take higher doses, keep your medication secure, and safely dispose of unused or expired medication. It only takes a little to lose a lot. This project was supported by a grant from the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention and the Commonwealth Healthcare Corporation. Contents are solely the responsibility of CHCC and do not necessarily represent the official views of the CDC or the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services. Green sea turtles and hawksbill turtles call the Mariana Islands home. They're an important part of the marine ecosystem. They are under threat and they are protected under CNMI law. Keep plastic out of the ocean. Keep vehicles off the beach. Use the sea turtle stranding hotline if you see poaching activities or if you see a turtle in trouble. Call 287-8537 and save a turtle. Tonight, sports brought to you in part by Tan Holdings through the Tan Su Lin Foundation, making communities a better place to live. Medals for the tennis competition at the 2022 Pacific Mini Games were awarded on Friday afternoon. Team NMI took gold in three categories, the team event, men's singles, and men's doubles, and won a bronze in the mixed doubles. We had so much exciting tennis. This last day was, uh, was never ending excitement, and I know that all the players are tired and want to get back and take showers. So let's get the show on the road, shall we? First, we'll be beginning with the women's team awards. Andrew Minot, the CEO of the Pacific Games Council, will be presenting the medals. The winners of the bronze medal is Tonga. Tonga, there we have Tonga. The Tongan ladies come forward, please. The winner of the silver medal, silver medal is Fiji. The Fiji women's team, consisting of Sersha Breen, Ruby Coffin, and Grace Dabalavu.
the silver medalists in the mixed doubles competition. Sersha Breen and William O'Connell of Beijing. The mixed doubles event are Violet Apisa and Matthew Stubbing from PNG. Now we will award medals for the women's doubles competition. The medals will be presented by Gary Purcell, the ITF Development Officer for Pacific Oceania. The bronze medal in women's doubles competition goes to Anna Tamanika and Ella Bakao Kamea of Tonga. And the bronze medal will be awarded to Camden Camacho and Armand Sachdev of Guam. Doubles competition is awarded to Colin Sinclair and Robbie Shore.
singles competition. Abigail Terry of Pizza. Come to the end of the Northern Marianas Pacific Mini Games 2022. Hundreds of officials and residents are gathered here at the Only Ice Sports Complex to celebrate all athletes, officials, and delegates from around the Pacific who have traveled all the way here to the Commonwealth to share this special, special moment with us. Let's take a look at the athletes.
Golfers, come north and practice your game at the Marianas Driving Range. New Year's local specials. 10-piece coupon books available for just $60. That's a $10 savings. Want to get really good? Come work on your swing every day for just $99 per month. It's our practice pass and you're going to love it. Grab your passes and go straight to the range. You can social distance and chip all at the same time and the views are free. Reserve now at MarianasTrekking.com. You can pay online. Open seven days a week. Hi, I'm Dre, one of the personal trainers here at Gold's Gym, and today we're going to show you a Bulgarian split squat, a fantastic lower body exercise that should be a main staple in your training. Now the first thing we want to address is the rear foot placement. Now whether it's toes on or toes off, just find what's comfortable for you. The bigger issue we want to tackle is the height of the box or bench. You see when you set up on a box or a bench that's too high, that inherently puts an aggressive stretch on the front of your hip. Oftentimes, that sensation will take away from the working leg, the leg that's on the floor. And when you start to add load in this faulty position, you're bound to run into some problems, particularly if you got some mobility restrictions. So Jamila's gonna set up. She's gonna descend with control, and from there, just stand tall. Big congratulations to everyone who participated in these mini games. We hope that you enjoyed watching as much as we've enjoyed covering. Reporting for KSPN News, I'm Salilemus.